friends welcome to my channel 5 minutes history in this video i bring you the incredible story of maharaja dikvijay singh ji the indian oscar schindler who saved hundreds of polish children during the second world war it was in the year 1939 second world war had just started nazi germany and the soviet union had signed the molotov ribbentrop pact a non aggression and commitment treaty by which both sides agreed not to ally or support an enemy of the other it was also mutually agreed to divide poland between themselves on september 1 1939 hitler invaded poland and just 16 days later soviet red army launched an offensive from the eastern border the two powers then divided poland among themselves as per their plan the combined attack devastated poland leaving thousands of civilians dead An estimated 2 million Polish civilians were deported to Arctic Russia, Siberia, and Kazakhstan in the railway convoys of 1939-1940. At least half of these civilians died within a year of their arrest. Thousands of children were orphaned and relocated to camps and temporary orphanages, where they were often left to die of illness and hunger. In 1941, finally an amnesty was declared. and the orphans were allowed to leave the soviet union but because of the ongoing war there was no homeland to which they could return as the ships carrying the orphan children left the soviet union they were denied entry into most of the ports as no country wanted to take responsibility in 1942 india was under british colonial rule and going through a volatile nationalist struggle When one of the ships carrying Polish children entered the port of Bombay the plight of the children reached the ears of Maharaja Dikvijay Singh ji Ranjit Singh ji Jadeja popularly known as Jam Sahib the king of the princely state of Navnagar in western India who also served on the British Empire's imperial war cabinet the British in India were not interested in taking the children but the maharaja intervened and offered to host the orphans in his own state and volunteered to provide them with a home a camp for the children was then set up at balachati a small seashore town in northwestern india 25 kilometers from maharaja's capital jamnagar in early 1942 the first group of 170 orphans traveled thousands of kilometers in trucks from ashgabat now in turkmenistan to bombay from where they went to balachati The Maharaja greeted the newcomers with the following words You are no longer orphans from now on you are Navanagarians and I am Bapu father of all Navanagarians so I am your father as well The camp had more than 60 buildings including a chapel laundry rooms a stage to hold Polish cultural programs a community center to hold Saturday evening dances and sports grounds The children were provided with food clothing and medical care a special library was set up with the polish books so that they could keep in touch with their culture the king even brought cooks from goa so that polish food could be provided to the children the children spent their time playing football volleyball hockey and even went camping they were free to use jam sahib's gardens squash courts and pool the maharaja also converted his palace into a school so that education could be provided to the children between 1942 and 1946 about 1000 polish children found a home in india thanks to the maharaja far from the ravages of the war life in balashadi was warm and cheerful every effort was made to create a home away from home the preservation of the polish culture and tradition was greatly prioritized and a polish flag was raised at the site scouting and church institutions that were integral to polish life were built in the little poland that sprung up in india these children stayed for 4 years till 1946 and they were the best childhood years they ever had when the war ended the orphans had to return to europe today the survivors still recollect maharaja's personal send off at the jamnagar railway station and the tearful farewell between the king and the children that remains unforgotten to this day the generous indian maharaja is still remembered in poland and is considered a polish hero he was posthumously awarded the commander's cross of the order of merit one of the highest honors in poland 
In the heart of Warsaw lies the square of the good Maharaja, a cozy space with trees and benches in the central district. Not very far from it is one of Warsaw's four most private schools, the Maharaja Jam Sahib Digvijay Singh Ji High School. It was the fulfillment of a promise made long ago. General Sirkowski, Prime Minister of Polish Government in Exile, had once asked the Maharaja, How can we thank you for your generosity? Maharaja had replied, You could name a school after me when Poland has become a free country again. Some people still argue that Maharaja had the resources to be generous. But one should never forget that he did all this at a time when the world was at war. India was in severe famine and drought, and the colonial British government was against his decision. It was one man's generosity that changed the destiny of a thousand people.